watching what's hot on CNBC TV 18. He's one of the most experienced and most influential voices of the Indian financial sector. After having participated in the evolution of the financial markets and seen the Indian corporate landscape evolve for over four long decades, Himendra Kotari, chairman of DSPML, has decided to hang up his boots. He will retire on the 31st of March. On the hot seat tonight is the man himself. Mr. Kotari, many thanks for joining us. When you look back now after, after a career of almost 40 years, what were the key highlights to your mind? In 1986, when first time the investors came to India, which I would believe was the highest side of it, or the really top, because that opened up slowly in 91, that helped people to, they used to come in India, talk to finance ministry, talk to various people in political side to the local side, and we used to arrange those meetings with corporates and everybody. I think more transparency was brought in. I think things change at that particular time uh, onwards. So I would say India Fund, which was UTI managed uh, uh, on the side of it, we were the one who created that uh, and then in fact was managed by UTI as a fund manager, which I personally feel was my highlight of the whole thing as such. Right, Mr. Kotari, you've seen several boom and bust cycles in your career. Now, as you retire in the next few weeks, where do you actually see the financial markets going forward? Because we're at a time that nobody had expected we'd be at the lows that we currently are. What are your worst fears as you move out? No, I think next two years, in fact, are tough years. No question at all. But you must say that, you must give compliment to Reserve Bank of India that we have not got carried away the way the world has carried away. Uh, we must give a compliment to SEBI that they have been proactive uh, in doing certain things. India is still relatively a better outside relative. We are not decoupled or something. So we are not insulated. But at the same time, uh, we must see that India has a huge market and a lot of foreign companies, once their attention is, they have stabilized themselves. They will start looking at India and China, of course, uh, the, with two economy with very big markets. Mr. Kodari, on to the, uh, the Satyam saga now. You were the sole advisors for the company and everyone's eyes were, were on you, including the regulators. Was that a big challenge? I, I have not commented about this matter. It is with regulators and uh, various agencies now. Well, in a sense, your response was immediate and transparent. In your assessment, was, was that the best way to handle the situation? One thing I can tell you is DSP Marriage has been a very high ethical standards and integrity we believe in. I think this particular firm, and I'm proud of that, is we believe in high integrity and high ethical standards. That where we do not try to compromise. Right, Mr. Kotari, but what do you really think we need to do to address corporate governance issues? Because, you know, we have the regulations in place, but clearly it's not just the regulations that are going to help avert something like a satyam from happening all over again. As long as we don't try to shy off the independent directors and try to put responsibility, what happened to a lot of people, in fact, because of Section 58A uh, and fixed deposits, uh, where people, in fact, been given a warrant, arrest for, arrest warrant. Now, independent directors who are there, who are advising company, they are more like an advisor, watchdogs. They are not supposed to be uh, sent to jails. Uh, they are not supposed to be. So we require to correct those things. We require more professional independent director to give their voice. So where do you where do you draw the line with regard to the role of the independent directors, Mr. Kudari? Independent directors can do level to what they are being informed about, okay? They can ask questions and if they are informed about something, then they can react on it. They can give guidance on what their views about it. In the end, day-to-day -day management is the one who decides day-to-day -day businesses. Independent directors have a limited role on that perspective because they know the business who are there today. They will be given plans, business plans, what are the business plans, people give their views. Uh, they can look at audit aspects, uh, independent directors are there in audit committees. So there are various things which are done in by independent directors on the side of it. Too much responsibility given to them. I am worried to get a good professional, independent directors will be tougher and tougher. 
All right, Mr. Kothari, we appreciate you taking time out to speak with us on a whole host of issues, and we wish you the very best of luck from all of us here at CNBC TV 18.